Hello and welcome back to Console Cowboys. In the end of the last video, I proposed a question. How do we disable the door alert? Because the door alert only sends a transmission when somebody opens the door and tells the base station to light up and beep. But there's no extra transmission like there is with the motion sensor. So it's either nothing's happening or something's happening. Well, in this case, we can jam the whole frequency and then the door can't communicate with the base station. But there are some legal implications with this. So basically, all jamming in all frequencies is illegal in the United States. So if you're going to play around with any kind of jamming, you need to build a Faraday cage or use it in an area where your frequency can't escape. So you can't really affect any other devices, and then you should be OK. Um, you can perform these attacks with a simple script. I have one here. Feel free to use this script in your testing, but make sure you're safe. Make sure you're using a Faraday cage because basically this just jams the whole frequency and sends a constant transmission to wipe everything out so nothing works. I wrote this in RFCAT in the next set of videos coming out today. There'll also be a whole bunch of stuff on how to use RFCAT efficiently. So here's a little demo. We're going to turn on our GQRX and start listening and then we're going to turn on our jammer and you'll notice immediately a transmission goes through but there's no break between this transmission it just keeps going and if you look at the video you'll notice as I put my hand in front of the motion sensor and as I open up the door alert nothing happens everything's completely jammed and we can walk in the door or walk in the facility and just bypass the security system Later on in some more advanced attacks, you'll see why this is important to bypass stuff like rolling code, which sends a different transmission each time. So what we need to do is jam the frequency so that we can collect transmissions but not have them go through. And then we can replay them so that way the code isn't already dead. But that's a whole different thing we'll get into later. Right now, here's just a jamming attack to play with, something to think about, and that these types of attacks are valid attacks against the devices you're creating or managing or deploying to your environment. So it's something you have to think about. If your device stops transmitting, does it put you at risk for security? Well, that's all for this video. Some more videos will be coming out very, very shortly. So if you learn something, hit the like button below. If you want to be updated of new material, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.